today we're extremely excited to welcome you to our open beta. During this period, you'll be able to explore the region of Itaqua, the initial drop zone in the Ghost Recon Wildlands story, which contains hours of main missions and activities. As an exclusive for this open beta, we also decided to unlock the beautiful yet dangerous province of Montuyo. Be prepared for a real challenge. Ghost Recon Wildlands is entirely playable solo or co-op up to four players, so please don't hesitate to invite your friends to explore our world. Also, you can connect to the Ghost Recon network to follow the latest news on the game and create your own task force. On behalf of the whole development team, thanks a lot for your interest and support. Ghost Recon Wildlands will be available on March 7, 2017. In the meantime, share your best moments with us by using the dedicated hashtag. We'll see you in the field. Good luck, ghosts. Last week, a crude explosive detonated outside the U.S. Embassy in La Paz, Bolivia. Two Marine Embassy guards were injured in the blast. Two days later, a CIA asset in central Bolivia provided us with these images. Our analysts have identified the individual in the photo as DEA Special Agent Ricardo Ricky Sandoval, my friend. Sandoval has had spent the last six years investigating the local cocaine industry. Our understanding is that Sandoval was the intended target of the bombing. What the embassy bomb did not accomplish was completed up close and personal. Sandoval was captured, tortured, and killed. Then his body was dumped. We have yet to recover it. Our target, the group responsible for the embassy bombing and the death of Special Agent Sandoval, is the drug trafficking organization commonly known as the Santa Blanca Cartel. Yesterday, they were just narcos. Today, they're narco-terrorists. Initially, the Bolivian government resisted the Mexican cartel. They formed UNIDAD, a Bolivian special forces unit. It didn't go as planned. Thousands of bodies later, politicians, police officers, and journalists have become an endangered species. The Bolivian government has imploded on itself. With no other options, the new president made a deal with Santa Blanca. You stop killing our people, we'll look the other way. Since then, Santa Blanca has turned Bolivia into the nexus of the South American drug trade. With their friends in Mexico, they also have a clear pipeline to the U.S. and Canada. The only way to stop Santa Blanca for good is to completely dismantle them, piece by piece. The cartel is organized into four operations. Production, smuggling, security, and influence. At the top of it all is El Jefe de los Jefes, Boss of bosses, El Sueño. This is Operation Kingslayer. Listen up. Our field of operation is Bolivia. Dense jungles, freezing mountains, and salt flats. If you don't watch your back, you won't leave it alive. Your target is the Santa Blanca drug cartel. Their network relies on fear, violence, and intimidation. You'll need to destroy them from the inside. Destabilize each aspect of their operations. Production. Smuggling influence and security to bring them to their knees you have full autonomy you pick your targets 
You decide how to take them out. Just get it done. Gather your intel. Learn who the players are. Learn their methods. Then destroy them. To make this op a real party, the local military force, Unidad, are on the cartel's payroll. They've been fighting it out with a low-rent rebel group called the Qataris 26. You want to survive? These underfunded and under-equipped rebels are your new best friends. You gotta think. You gotta be strategic. No one will come when you call for help. Use what you can to get the job done. You have your arsenal and every vehicle you can find at your disposal. And don't be afraid to throw out the playbook. Each of you is an elite warfighter, but together you have the strength to take down an army. And remember, ghosts, credit is failure. You will burn the Santa Blanca drug cartel to the ground, but no one will know who was holding the match. they murdered. You knew him? He was a friend of mine. Sorry for your loss. I could say it comes with a job, but it doesn't get any easier. No, it doesn't. Guess you've been down here a while? I've been living as Karen Bowman, international aid worker for just about five years. Means living rough, but as a cover, it gets me out and about. At least it comes with a chopper. How'd you get in country? A fluent business class from Manaus. Hey, I'm refreshed and ready for work, right? I just hitched rides from Barranco, Peru. How about you? I got on board a bus in Huey, Argentina, and drank all the way to Via Zone. Nobody wants to deal with a drunk on the bus. That explains why you smell like ash. I've heard rumors about you guys. I was a rookie field officer in Moscow when the coup went down. There was talk you were involved? Nah, it must have been someone else. We were never there. It's not every day you get to meet an urban legend in the flesh. Huh, you should tell that to my kid. Maybe he'd listen when I tell him to take the trash out. Is it hard being someone who doesn't officially exist? You tell me, Karen Bowman, international aid worker. I'm sure you've seen the horrible, fucked up shit humans are capable of when there are zero repercussions. But let me tell you right now, no matter how you compartmentalize how you Desensitize, you can't prepare for El Sueño. He's got a religious streak that rates pretty close to delusional. He's taken vows of poverty, chastity. If he's not in it for the chocha or the money, he's in it for the power. This joint task force is CIA, DEA, JSOC. I'm your resident spook for this ride. Welcome to Operation Kingslayer. Our briefing said there'd be a contention of locals. The Qatar is 26. They're a group of rebels who've been giving Unidad and Santa Blanca some resistance. 
We'll meet their leader, Pakatari, soon as we touch down. The Libyans have a long history of hating us Yankees, but this time, let's hope the enemy of my enemy will be my friend. But don't turn your back on him. I'm not going to. Soldiers. This is the help you promised? That Sandoval promised? A single Yankee died, so you send a handful of soldiers. Hundreds of Bolivians have died from Santa Blanca's bullets. Where will my hundreds of soldiers come from? As Americans, we aren't here, remember? These soldiers are the best covert ops team our country has to offer. With their help, you won't need hundreds of soldiers. Are you familiar with the word Huber, Senora Bowman? Meet Pakatari, leader of the resistance group Kataris 26. We will be working with the rebels to destabilize Santa Blanca's organization. They've been fighting Santa Blanca and corrupt Bolivian officials for nearly six years now. We'll need to coordinate targets. There is no time for this. We have information on Amaru's whereabouts. Amaru? You found him? Amaru is one of the founders of the Kataris 26. More than that, her group is founded on his ideas. Without his theories of an agrarian proletariat, there would be no organized resistance against Santa Blanca and the corruption in our government. Amaru must be saved. If you were to assist my people, it would do much to earn my confidence. Where is he? We do not know exactly. We know he's in this province and that there is a Santa Blanca lieutenant who knows where he is. I'll put a call into the activity, see if they can dig more intel out of the airwaves. Start looking for that lieutenant and keep me informed of everything via sat phone. Good hunting. Saving Amaru is important to our cause, Yankee. Make sure you don't kill the Santa Blanca lieutenant before you get the chance to ask him questions. Time to earn your pay, people. Put on your game faces. I tell you, I'm not too comfortable working with Pakatari and these rebels. Their kind of ideology always ends up with more bodies in the ground. What's your feeling on this op, Nomad? End of the day, this is a revenge mission. We need to focus and get this done quick before we get stuck between local politics and the firestorm of cartel bullets. First objective, track down that Santa Blanca lieutenant so we can find Amaru. Who, uh... Go. Fire. I copy. Ready? Fire, fire, fire. fire. Roger. I copy. Ready? Open fire. Roger.
Mega Radio DJ Perico. Welcome back to SB Radio, and with you as always, your lovable, adorable, completely fuckable DJ Perico. All right, so with the noise surrounding the bombing of the U.S. Embassy starting to die down a little bit. All of the strange details of the incident are starting to come into focus for your Perico. And not just the details. Hang tight, I'm heading your way. God damn, that was close. Frag out. Get some. Tango down. They know we're here. I go down. We're clear. execution. The cartel's sending a message. Here's what happens to rebel sympathizers. They haven't been up there long. We must have really pissed somebody off on that last off. We'll leave a marker so the rebels can pick up the supplies later.
Maybe we should keep the guns down and make sure we don't scare them. Hey, come on. Boyfriends, co-workers, and let's be honest, my mother has never stopped calling me Mandona. People say it's because they expect a woman to be pleasant and sweet. O sea, there are even some women out there, successful women, who want to ban the actual word bossy. But people who are satisfied being pleasant, who don't act bossy, even if they don't like the word, they don't get what they fucking want. They don't make Millions of dollars a month shipping Stop products it. all over the world. They don't have a hacienda or hundreds of sicarios ready to die for them. So, chicas. History. Okay. The target carrying submachine guns. Yo, we got a cartel LT. Where you got him? In the cemetery. cemetery. That's a kill. Santa Blanca commendation. Those Sicarios will be missing this.
I got it. I'll fly. Fire. Rally on me. Roger that. We got tangos. Danger close. Got another tango. Ready? Open fire. Roger that. That tango's down. Got no tangos on my radar. Rally up, people. Moving. Sure are a lot of lights and switches up here. I'm cool, let's move. Ready? Fire, fire, fire. Copy. Open fire. Got it.
Sport House of Zepa. of a rebel radio station that just needs a kick to get moving again. Let's get out there and jumpstart that fucker. These supplies will buy us a lot of goodwill from the rebels. This is a commendation. Looks like it came from a box of cereal, or the Air Force or something. Drone is airborne. You think robots will ever replace us? Be okay with me. Computer geeks instead of medics. You telling me robots could do what we do? Why not? Half our targeting shit's on computer now. You know what robots can't do? Drink beer? Fuck? Die for their country.
your fire. We don't want to hit any civilians. Thank you. 